Hello guys, so today I was eating this cheese. Believe it or not, this is cheese. By the way, I'm wearing this uh, hat, hat like thing because my hair is mess messy and I didn't uh, have, have time to, to fix it. So, I'm wearing it, it doesn't matter. So, as I was eating this, I wondered to myself one thing. And uh, that sentence in Japanese is what I'm going to give you as a question, as a quiz. And there I say certain sentence and I want you guys to guess what grammatically comes after that. So, first, those sentences. Right. Koyu cheese de Hokano Kuni ni mo blah 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 no kana. So I want you guys to guess what grammatically what should come after this. Not meaning wise, but yeah. Kou kou iu cheese. De. When said, it sounds more like kou kou but it's written kou iu. But said kou kou cheese. De. Cheese like this. Cheese like this. But by the way, inside. It looks like this. It's got six pieces. I'm not sure if you guys have those kind of things in your country. But that doesn't matter. But that's basically why I decided to make this video though. And uh Hoka no Kuni other countries. Nimo blah 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 no kana. I can't really explain those part because those are just a part of sentence. <clears throat> but no kana indicates that you are wondering some about something. So I was wondering if those kind of cheese are blah 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 in the country. Alright, so number one. Urarete iru meaning sold. So if I put this in the in, okay, let me go next. Aru this means exists or simply be like a book is there, that means honga aru. Alright, so utteiru similar to this, but it's mean it means like regarding those as the subject and like you say, this this says a lot in my in my supermarket. Yeah. This says a lot. Like that, like that kind of use. Utteru, utteiru. Not as the object of being sold, but subject that sells. And uh, oishi, delicious. Ninki garu, popular. So let me just put each in this, in the sentence and read it, and decide which one sounds the most natural or uh, grammatically not. Grammatically correct that you think. Okay, from one. Koyu cheese te hokanu kuni ni mo urarete iru no kana. Number two. Koyu cheese te hokanu kuni ni mo aru no kana. Number three. Koyu cheese te hokanu kuni ni mo utte iru no kana. Number four. Koyu cheese te hokanu kuni ni mo oishii no kana. Number five. Koyu cheese te hokanu kuni ni mo which one do you think? So, uh, meaning-wise, maybe you can guess, but I want you guys to think in terms of grammar. Grammar. And there might be another possibility that sounds natural in the sentence, but Grammatically, I don't think that's correct. Oh, what do you think? So, guys, if you have any idea, please comment. And guys, for those who are wondering which the answer is, don't look at those comments yet. And I say, okay. Alright, the answer is... Two. Two, two, two. Why two? Alright, so because 
Okay, I, I tell you what. All right. Because it says Nimo. 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 So, you can, you can, I can't, I can't explain why Aru come, Aru must be the answer when this is Ni. I can't explain why, but uh, it's Ni. And I think some of you guys have wondered why one or three cannot come here. Let me say. こういうチーズって他の国にも売られているのかな。他の国にも売っているのかな。他の国にも売っている。他の国にも売られている。You don't, you don't say that. Maybe some would say, but I think that's grammatically incorrect. So what? How can, how can a sentence that has 売られている、売っている。in this kind of sentence can be correct is you can replace ni to de so hoka no kuni demo uraete iru no kana hoka no kuni demo utte iru no kana and if you replace ni to de you can even put these even though it sounds kind of a bit uh, weird 他の国でも美味しいのかな? If you say that sentence, apart from grammar, you should, you should decide that this kind of cheese is delicious in, in, in the first place. Oh, more ikyo. Mm. And 他の国でも人気がある, popular. That grammatically fine. is fine. Alright, so you can, to understand why it works like this, you can break down this sentence. So let's say, let's not say Hokanakuni, but let's say some country specifically. Let's say Canada. Canada. Yeah, Alright, so I wonder if this kind of cheese is sold or this kind of cheese. Uh, in Canada too. So, okay, you can ignore this part. Kono cheese there. Hokanokuni, let's say Canada. Canada Nimo. And you can ignore this part also. Because that doesn't matter grammatically. That, o that only shows that I am wondering. Canada ni mo aru. Canada ni mo uraleteiru. Canada ni mo utteiru. Canada ni mo oishii. Canada ni mo ninki gare. These guys sound totally stupid. Alright. Canada ni mo aru. What do you think? Do you feel the naturality or awkwardness of sentence when uh, when those different ones come Canada ni mo utteiru Canada ni mo utteiru I don't say Canada ni mo utteiru I say Canada de mo utteiru or Canada de mo uraleteiru and if you say Canada de mo you don't say aru Canada de mo aru you don't say that Canada ni mo aru, Canada de mo utteru. Not Canada de mo aru, or nor Canada ni mo utteru. Because if you say Canada ni, okay, you can all even ignore this part, this word, mo. That means also or too, so in Canada too or in Canada also. So, Canada ni, you can, you can think this way. Canada ni aru, Canada ni uraeteru, Canada ni. So now you get the idea, I think. Canada ni aru. So if you say Canada ni utteru, that I would imagine a situation like some someone or some country is selling something to to Canada. Canada ni uru. But if you want to say utteru being sold in Canada, you say Canada de. 
de is a particle that that's like at Canada de, but in this case, it's Canada uh, in Canada in English. But yeah, it's hard. It's hard to explain comparing English and Japanese because they work different. All right. That's it. I just wanted to give you a quiz, but it turns to be a long lecture, which I think that some of you guys don't like. Alright, I hope you found this video interesting, not confusing. Alright, so I know that the difference between ni and de as the particle is really different, d difficult. Maybe not really difficult, but could be difficult sometimes. That's what I wondered, to be honest, in fact. Alright. Anyway. Yeah, my question. Do you guys have cheese like this? Yeah, that's, that's the question I had in the first place. Alright, so, uh, bye bye. Thanks for watching.